up guys today we have this the sabrin rocket nvme pciem.2 sd and also we have the rocket nvme heat sink so um let's put this together it needs a little bit of assembly yeah so uh first step is to of course unbox it This is a 512 gigabyte drive, which is enough. Oh, wow, it's got a pretty nice box. Oh, wow. It's actual metal. So this is a single signed SSD. It's quite small really so we'll put that right back on its box it's actually a very nice box that they included it's actual metal hear that better than other packaging jobs now next uh we have this which is the heat sink and the manual which we will need because every ssd is different first step Remove the included screwdriver and put that next to you because you will need it. And then remove the heatsink. Now let's see what we'll need. This is a single sided SSD. You can already see that. Wait. Are you supposed to? Wait, hang on. I think you're supposed to leave the sticker on there when you install it. But the first step is to check whether it's single-sided or double-sided. This one's single-sided, obviously. But are you supposed to? Hang on. Okay, I have removed the sticker just in case because it, on the, the um, illustrations, it shows it without one. Um, now, first step, uh, ignore the noise in the background. The parents are watching a movie and they've turned up the volume quite loud. So, hope there's no copyright claims there. Uh, first of all, that is very loud, actually. Um, anyway, ignore their somewhat annoying movies. Now, um, it says, if you have a single-sided drive, apply thermal, extra thermal tape provided, B, which is this, uh, on top of the thermal tape placed on the tray after removing the clear protector from all sides of the thermal tape. So, they want us to peel this off. Okay, put that aside. Seems reasonable enough. And peel this side off as well. Um... Hang on. I'm gonna have to pause there. We've got the second layer of thermal tape installed. Now it's time to install the SSD on here. Line it up. Hang on, let me just check. Is it aligned? Yes, it is. At least I hope it is. Now, it says peel the clear thermal protector off of this other side. And then lower it onto the SSD. Wait, until the screw holes match. 
and yes, they do. Now, that's what the instructions say right here. Attach it, yes. Movement for the screw, yes. Align the holes, yes. Okay. Now, it says to take these screws that are in here, one, two, three, and four. One. It's nice how I unscrew it from the, <laughs> the packaging itself. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I will continue buying uh, Sabrin parts if this works. So, of course, install the four screws on the side of your SSD and heat sink combo now. I would do this in a crisscross pattern, just like installing the cooler on a motherboard or something. That's all personal preference, how you install it. Now, uh, well, we're on the second to the last screw. Mm, okay. Now, last screw before we install it into the motherboard. And I believe I have to use the included, um, what you call it, the included screw on this side to screw it into the motherboard because it's longer than the other ones. No, it's not. Well, I think it is. So, whatever. We're going to try it out. We'll use the included one right there uh, and install it on our motherboard. And, all right. Remove the side panel from your computer. That's the most important step. Uh, put it in a safe place. Uh, now, take your SSD and the included screw. Put that next to your computer. And then use the screwdriver. Remove the included M.2 SSD screw. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely shorter. Now we're just going to test fit it. Uh, cut it right there. Fix something. They said to put the two thermal pads underneath. That didn't really work. That kind of... Wait. Yeah, that kind of made it too... Uh tall actually it wouldn't really fit in the slot so we're gonna see how this works i instead put it uh yeah that looks better i put it above the ssd so that there are two in between the heat sink and the ssd now i will get my uh magnetic screwdriver or maybe the one that came with it. Hope it's magnetic. No, it's not. Uh, okay, I'll just put the screw right there where it aligns. Yeah. Okay, I've installed the screw and our SSD is in place. There it is. It looks pretty good on this motherboard, I have to say. It's real nice. <clears throat> now, it's time to boot up the computer, see what I'll do. Okay, so I'm powering it on. Oh, wait. There it is. Now, hit delete to enter the BIOS. Keep pressing it until you see it on your screen. All right, now we're in the BIOS. And let's see what drives there are. I'm gonna check. 
Yes, Sabrent is now present. So now I can remove my old hard drive, which is over here. And I'll do that off camera and I will show you how to install Windows. Hey guys, to install Windows, um, you'll need a USB drive, something like this, <coughs> with the Windows uh, installer on it. Link will be in the description to, inst to download that. And uh, first you'll want to plug this into a USB port on your computer. And then power on the computer. Hang on. Uh, let me press the power button. Turn on the power supply, obviously. Then hit delete on your keyboard. <laughs> Keep pressing it until you're in the BIOS. The BIOS should look like this. Now, uh, under save and exit, it will show that Sabrin is now present. We're going to press on the UEFI of SanDisk Partition 1, and it will boot into uh, the Windows installer. Hang on. Uh-oh. Hang on. A uh, small error there. Okay, I booted into uh, the USB drive that I just created with the file. Link in the description, once again. And um, click next after it shows this page for Windows 10 setup. Click install now. Setup is starting, give it a bit of time. It's the USB 2.0 drive. I want a 3.0, but uh, I can't afford one yet. Now you say you don't have a product key because I really don't. Uh, it's saved somewhere else. So I'm installing Windows 10 Pro. Click you accept the terms and click install Windows only. Now here is your uh, 512 gig. It won't show 512 gigabyte, it never does. Refresh it. All right, you click that, the unallocated space on drive zero, click new. That's the most you can do. All right, this, okay, right here, the primary uh, partition is the one you want to install on. Click next. And it's copying Windows files now. Give time, but it's very fast because it's an SSD. And it's M.2 and PCIe. So once this is done, I'll get back to you. All right, Windows is done installing, and you would set this up just like you would set up any other Windows computer you buy from a store or anything. As you see... Inside my computer, right there, the drive has been installed. Let me get the camera to focus. Yep, right there. I know you see my fan back there, but yeah, you can see the drive has been installed. I made a video about that fan anyway. All right, so yeah, just gonna set that up. Um, now I want you to press that subscribe button over there it is red colored and says subscribe on it in white letters. And also hit that thumbs up button to show that you enjoyed this video. If you did. And thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.